Alright, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make name tags that display your name and your rank in a group in Roblox Studio. So the first thing we're going to do is make the name tag itself. So first of all, we're going to need a character model so we can like design the name tag itself. So if you go up to the avatar tab at the top, you can then choose rig builder and just insert a block rig. And now we've got our dummy. I'm just going to turn off being able to see these attachments here in model constraint details. There we go. And now in this dummy, in its head, I am going to insert a billboard GUI. I'm going to find this billboard GUI now in Explorer and I'm going to call it name tag. And now I'm going to mess with some of the properties. So I'm going to turn on, always on top. I am going to turn studs offset. I'm going to put it on 2.5 on the Y axis. So it's above the player's head. Uh, in fact, no, I'm just going to change that to 2. There we go. That looks fine. And then for size, I'm going to do, let's say, 5 studs wide, comma 0, comma 2.5 studs tall, comma 0. So there we go. now we've got our name tag, uh, or we've got the size of it. We can now change max distance to, let's say, 50. So 50 studs away, we don't want to be able to see it. So there we go. If we go 50 studs away, we can no longer see the name tag. And now I think that's all we want to change here. Yep, that looks fine. Right, so in this name tag now, we're going to insert two text labels. So one text label. I'm going to make the size of this one 1, 0, 0, 0. This is going to be for the player's name. So if I just turn on text scaled for that, I'm going to change the style to bold. And I'm going to turn on background transparency. And in fact, no, I'm going to change the size on the y axis to 0.4. But I'm going to put it at the position as 0.2, which is a bit further down. And I'm going to call this text label name or player name. And then I'm going to just change the text to name. And then I'm going to duplicate this with control D. I'm going to change the name of this next one to player rank. And I'm going to change the text to rank. And then I'm going to change the size to 0.3. And I'm going to change the position on Y to 0.6. So now we've got it so it's going to display our name and our rank of the player. We can, you can change the properties of these this text if you like to make it look different. But I'm just going to leave it as it is, uh, just to make it as simple as possible. So now we've designed our name tag, what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this into Service Script Service. And we're going to make a script in Service Script Service. So I'll just add a script and I'll call it Name Tag Script. And then I'm going to drag this name tag into the Name Tag Script. So now I'm going to add a variable for the name tag. So I'll say local name tag equals script.nametag. And now we just need an event that fires whenever a player joins the game. So game.players.playerAdded. Colon connect function. And then in these brackets here, we're just going to say the player object. And now we're going to say when, when there's a new character for the player. So player.characterAdded. So whenever the player gets a character, colon connect function. And we're going to take the character. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're waiting until this character has a head. So what we're going to do is we're going to say repeat, wait, until character dot head. And now we're going to copy this name tag, clone it, and just change the text on the text labels. So first of all, we want to clone the name tag. So we'll say local player tag equals name tag colon clone and a pair of brackets. And now we're going to change the text of these two text labels. So we're going to say player tag dot player name dot text equals player dot name and then we're going to say player tag dot player rank dot text equals player colon get role in group and then the group id that we want to check in but currently we don't have that so what we're going to do is find this group id so i'm going to do it for my group class copy productions you can do it for whatever group you like but we need to get this group id so what you want to do is find your group on the roblox website and once you're on your group, you're just going to go to the URL bar at the top, and we're going to copy this number. So this is your group ID, just highlight it, and then you can right click, and you can click copy. And then we can go back to Roblox Studio, and we can paste in this number here. And now that's just going to change our text. So now we just put this player tag in the character's head. So what we're just going to do is player tag dot parent equals character dot head. So now that's just going to put our player tag in the character's head so now if we play our game you can see 
But there we go, I've got my name and my rank in the group. So as you can see, uh, my name is Squiddings, and then my rank in Class Copy Productions is Creator. So that was how you make name tags with group ranks in Robot Studio. If you found this helpful, then please subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.